right here in this video, we're going to do an instant healing for your whole life and some of its parts like health and wealth and energy and mindset. And that is going to happen very shortly. And I'm also going to give you a little rant about why raising your vibration is an outdated concept and what to do instead that works much better and faster and is not you know, fraught with silly metaphors like vibration and frequency. So I'll rant about that later and I'll also tell you a much more accurate word that you'll really be able to feel the truth of and the healing power of. So, <clears throat> welcome. I am Elma Meyer, founder of Now Healing. The website is nowhealing.com, but if you're here live, don't go there now. Just stay with me. Um, so I use this kind of healing every day, and I'd probably be dead if I didn't. Uh, I had Lyme disease. I had all kinds of stuff that um, I was able to shift with this incredibly deceptively paradoxically simple kind of healing and my mission is for you to be able to do it fast now yourself um, and you don't need me you don't need anybody to help you to do this um, because your innate healing ability already exists. You can plug directly into it. You can plug directly into the larger field of wholeness. But I do happen to have some shortcuts and I will save you some time in figuring it out for yourself. So I would love to help you. That is my purpose is to turn on everybody's instant healing ability and ability to plug directly into the field of healing. So, um, if you're just joining us live, you can type into the comments and let me know that you're here. Beautiful, beautiful. Hello from Holland, Laura, Diane, Katie, excellent, Rita from Finland, beautiful. Um, but if you are watching this as a replay later, that's great. No worries. The healing alignments are always active in these recordings, whether you're listening to me do an audio or you're watching me on a video. This is remote space time healing. So it's not just remote in terms of you can be in Finland, you can be in Mumbai, you can be anywhere or you can be, you know, two feet away from me and that's still remote, but it's also remote in time. So if you're listening in the future, the healing field is active always. If you are, um, my a lot of my guided healing call members are here. Hello, hello from Switzerland, Joshua Tree, excellent. Um, and if you are not yet a member of my guided healing calls, then this free healing today is gonna give you just a little preview of what we're gonna be doing for the rest of the year. And I'll tell you about that later. If you are brand new to Now Healing, and if you've ever done, you know, any other energy healing like Reiki or Qigong or tapping, et cetera, et cetera, those are all wonderful. Keep doing those. But right now we're going to do now healing. So please let go of what those other methods feel like to you, because this is different. This is instant morphic healing. We're not running energy. It's not about feeling it. Um, just allow for a new healing experience where you don't need to believe. You don't need to know what's happening. This is beyond your and my local mind's opinions about what is true, what is not true. It's also beyond our local sensations, uh, perceptions. Um, you don't need to feel energy or chi moving with this work. You might feel it, but that is just a side effect because this work is not just about the energy that you can feel. It's also about many other energies that are beyond our local awareness. And even if you have done now healing before, as I can see that a lot of you have, hello, hello, um, still, allow for a new experience because it's always new 
and different. Wholeness, when you tune in and plug into it, is always new and different because it's infinite. So we can't possibly get the same wholeness that we got before, even though it's all the same. A fun paradox. Oh, also, a quick disclaimer. This is not medical healing. When I say healing, I don't mean the same thing that um, scientists mean or that doctors mean. It's not medical healing. It's not just physical healing. This does not replace medicine, doctors, uh, acupuncture, chiropractic, anything. It doesn't replace a healthy lifestyle. It complements and supports all of that, but in a totally different way realm beyond physical material healing and this is not just energetic healing it's not just spiritual healing it's not mental or emotional healing this is healing in the original sense of the word healing is making whole it's about wholeness and in my work in now healing it's also about guiding you to directly connect with that larger field of healing and wholeness that already exists. It's all around us, it's inside us. It's not about me, the great healer, doing healing to you. That is an outdated view of what healing is. You can connect to that larger field of healing yourself instantly, and you can probably feel that already. But before I guide you to use my shortcuts, to wholeness, my tips and tricks, before we get more deeply connected to the healing field, which you are already in, let me just give you my little rant about how to raise your vibration. This is something we've all heard that we need to do. We need to have better thoughts, higher emotions, etc. And you may have even felt pressure to get out of a low vibration and into a higher one. Well, here's why that word vibration is a misdirection. And just as a caveat and as an excuse, <laughs> I do use the word vibration sometimes with air quotes, even if you're not seeing them, because it's just common vernacular and people get it. But I just have a pet peeve around the terms vibration and the word frequency as used in this kind of work as metaphors for healing or self improvement. If you Google, how to raise your vibration, you'll see a bunch of bull crap. Like, let me give you an example of a real quote that I saw that just made my head explode that showed up at the top of Google. We all vibrate energetically at a particular frequency. Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> we don't just have one single frequency. So let's not use the wrong metaphors. Frequency means the rate at which something happens or repeats over time. You don't just have one frequency, you have many. And you don't always want to raise your frequency or vibrate at a higher vibration. That's not just you know using the words wrong, it's also a false assumption. And I'm not just quibbling about words, although I do love to quibble about words, as you can, as you probably have seen. But words are powerful creators. Metaphors are powerful creation devices. So you don't always want to raise your vibration or raise your frequency. Sometimes you want to lower your vibration, lower your frequency. If you're meditating, but your mind keeps chattering, you want to slow down or lower the frequency of your thoughts. Yes, literally the frequency of how many thoughts you have per minute. If you're meditating, you want to lower that frequency. So be careful what you metaphor. <laughs> so here's what I much prefer. It's a much better metaphor. Instead of the word vibration or frequency, I like the word resonance. And this may not even be a metaphor, although it probably is. It may really truly be that the theory of morphic resonance is the best way to describe what 
many people loosely call vibration and frequency. And, and it is probably the best way to describe how this kind of healing works. That is a topic for another day. What I'm getting at is that we resonate and we can tune our resonance and that's how this kind of healing happens. Also, we can resonate with stuff that we don't want unbeknownst to ourselves. So that's what we're going to do in the free healing that's coming up very, very soon. Oh, I'm seeing all the hello people from us. Someone is here. Tony is here from Australia. It must be the middle of the night. Thank you for being here. Um, Minnesota, New Delhi, uh, Edmonton, Plymouth Rock. Excellent. All right. So um, we are resonating across the globe with the larger field of healing and wholeness. So we're all resonators of that field and we're going to uh, tune our resonance and I'll, I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Um, because the amazing thing is we can shift our resonance very quickly, instantly, using the morphic metaphor of tuning yourself and tuning your resonance. And I'll give you a demonstration of that in a moment. So in this, this uh, free healing that you're about to get is a little preview of what is coming up in my guided healing calls for the rest of the year. They happen on the first Saturday of every month. And I'll put a link for how you can join the super affordable. And, and if you're a member, you already are enrolled. Um, but let me just tell you what's coming up for the rest of 2019. We are going to raise your resonance. And even that metaphor is not perfect, but I like the alliteration. What are you going to do? Um, we're going to raise the resonance on a different area of your life every month. And we do whole life healing every month, just like we're going to do a little bit of, or a little bit is, is also the wrong term. We're going to do a big amount of right now in this free video. Uh, but I'll tell you about the guided healing calls later. For now, let's have you actually experience it. So let's see where you're at. Tune into your whole life right now, not just what's bothering you, but just the big picture of your whole life. And that includes your health, your energy levels, your thoughts, your mood, your wealth and abundance, your relationships, family, life's work, creativity, spiritual evolution, your daily habits, etc., etc. So just tune in and notice, don't type it in yet. I'm going to ask you to type in uh, a very specific thing to help me so I don't have to read a zillion different uh, posts, although I love to read a zillion different posts. Uh, Rich is yawning already. Shift yawns. Yes, sometimes energy shifts show up as yawns or um, whatever. So... Uh, oh, from Bucharest, Madalina, Buna Ziwa. How are you? Bucharest is my birthplace. I don't speak Romanian very well, but I understand it. <laughs> um, Sydney, oh my gosh, all these people who are up at, in the wee hours, thank you for being here and expanding the healing field with me and with everyone. Okay, back to it, Elma, back to it. Tune into your whole life. And in a moment, I'm going to ask you to type in what are your top two or three life areas that you want to improve. Don't do it yet. Just hold your horses. And if you're here, if you're listening to the replay, you'll just tune into it. You won't necessarily type it. It doesn't really matter. So, um, what do I mean by life areas? Stuff like health or body image or money or home or work or relationships or life purpose, the big parts of your life. So I don't want you to tune into the specific ache or pain or problem with so-and-so at work. You know, I want you to tune into relationships in general or health in general, et cetera, et cetera. So think about the most important priority area of your life. Type it in, but don't click post yet. Because first, I want you to tune into that life area, whether it's health or wealth or whatever. 
And now tune into how close you are to its highest expression, to its best expression. On a scale of zero to 10, where zero is, no problem, you're totally on target with your highest health or wealth or whatever, and 10 is big problem, totally distant from your highest expression. So zero is no problem. So type in the life area, like health or wealth or relationships, and your number from zero to 10, but don't post it yet. Just, just type it. <laughs> I'll give you a moment to tune into your top life area and how close are you to resonating with its highest expression. Zero is on target, no problem. 10 is very distant, not close at all. Okay, don't hit post yet. And now let's pick your second most important life area that you want to improve. And, and make this be a different one. Don't have it be, well, my health is most important, and first it's my immune health, and second it's my you know, uh, lower back health. No, just tune into a different, a different aspect of your life, a different big compartment of your life that you want to improve and tune into how close you are to that highest expression from zero to 10, zero is no problem, 10 is big problem. Type it in, don't hit post yet. Just go fast, don't worry, you know, you don't have to overthink this. Um, okay, I, I see some people have typed it in, you may have just joined us, that's fine. Um, but I'm gonna ask you to tune into a third one if you have a third life area, you may just want to do your top two. Don't hit post yet. What is your third life area that you want to improve? And what's your number on how close you are to resonating with its highest expression? How close are you to no problem? Zero is no problem, 10 is big problem. So you're going to have two or three life areas and then a number like, you know, health, nine job, eight, relationship with my kids, six, you know, it could be self-confidence, seven, whatever. I'm going to be quiet for a moment, let you type three things and a number where zero is no problem. And then go ahead and post your comment when you're ready. Hit post when you're ready. Just use a few words, one word, three words, uh, don't write more than a sentence description because I need to scroll very fast. Uh, what you actually say is not what we're actually gonna heal. We're gonna heal something even bigger. Okay, so, you and you can see what people are posting. Um, so I'll, after you're done posting yours, you can read some of them. Um, and there's a ton of them, so I'm, if I don't read yours out loud, that is no problem. Do not worry. Uh, I'm, I'm reading them all, skimming them. And they are entered into the healing field. So physical energy level six, money eight, health nine, ideal job 10, finances six, stuff like that. No, no apologies necessary. <laughs> Fruit, that's, that's great. Okay. Great, great, great. So, and you can keep typing them in. Um, I'll give you another 30 seconds or so to either type them in or tune into them. Your top two or three life areas that you want to improve and how close you are to having those be no problem, having those be beautiful, fine, resonant, lovely. And this is fine. Uh, Cynthia wrote in my son's health at a 10. Yeah, if you want to um, throw in your intention for another person, that's fine too. Um, but you don't need to type it in. If you've already typed in your three, just keep it in mind. You don't need to type it. Okay, finish up. You got like seven more seconds. 
course, if you have just joined us, feel free to type in. I'm not going to stop anybody. <laughs> so make sure to get your number. I see Josephine wrote relationship with son with Asperger's. Right how well, at least tune into your number. Zero is no problem. Ten is biggest problem. Okay, now we are going to take that and set it aside. It's there in your comment feed or it's there in your mind. You're going to put it out in front of you onto a workspace screen, the Now Healing workspace screen. Let it sit there and we're going to let go of it and instead we're going to tune into the larger field of healing. And the best place to find that, at first anyway, is at your center, your vertical center in the middle of your physical body, in the middle of your energy bodies. It includes your spine, your central nervous system, your chakras, a couple of important meridians. So breathe into your whole vertical center. And that's what, that's where zero is, no problem, already whole. It's also all around you, but let's just put it in your center right now. So even if you don't feel it in your general daily life, feel into what zero feels like at your center. Feel into what no problem might feel like. Even if you don't think it's true in your life, you can still feel into that it's true in the universe, in the bigger picture. That state of no problem wholeness. Now you might want to tune into it out into infinite wholeness. You already activated your center. Now activate your awareness of wholeness. That already exists. You can tune into it right now. Whatever you're noticing is correct. Your mind will have questions. Um, your emotions might be, you know, going up and down. Your chi might be shifting. It doesn't matter. Just find that larger field of wholeness in space around you. Maybe it's way out to the edges of the cosmos. Maybe you're just seeing it on a little virtual reality screen in front of you. I don't know where it is, but there it is. It's just, it's right here. Where's my little camera? <laughs> there it is, right there. That's where wholeness is. Tune into that if you can't find it. Okay, just sort of above my head. Focus on the, a little point there. That is your portal into the larger field of healing and wholeness. Now, you can access it many different ways. There's no one right way to do it. And when you do it tomorrow, it'll feel different. Now, that space of wholeness, that state, that field of wholeness, align with it now. Bring the word now into your center. Just click the word now. Align with wholeness now. By doing that, you've activated it. Even if you're just saying the words and you don't believe them. Now, let's take your first life area, the one that it was most important for you, and whatever, you know, whatever it is, say this command with me. You can say it out loud or you can say it silently to yourself. I align my life area, whatever it is, I align my with wholeness now. Say that again. I align my life area with wholeness now. And bring that into your center. I align my resonance with its highest expression now. Meaning I align my resonance with the life area with its highest expression now. Bring that into your center. Tons of things are shifting, even if you didn't quite follow me verbally or follow me 
intellectually. I don't know that I followed myself. Lots of things are shifting now and we cannot possibly keep track of them all. So let's not even try. Just let go. Just be aware that your larger resonance with your top priority life area is tuning up right now to wholeness now. Okay, that's still happening. Now let's go to your second life area. Remember what it is. Just find the word or see it in front of you. And whatever it is, say with me, command with me, I align it with wholeness now. And bring that now into your center. You can do that again. I align it with wholeness now. I align my resonance with its highest expression now. Bring that into your center. So basically, you are resonating with the highest expression of your life area now. Maybe you feel it in your gut. Maybe you feel that resonance shifting in your heart. Maybe you feel a shimmery, tingly in your biofield. Maybe the space that you're in feels different. Or maybe you feel nothing because energy is shifting beyond what you can feel. Okay, it's all happening now. If you have a third life area, or if you've changed your mind about something and you're just thinking about a new thing, tune into it. And let's do a resonance alignment for that. Say with me, say this command, I align this life area with wholeness now. Bring that into your center or just come from your center as you say the word now. I align that life area with wholeness now. I align my resonance with that life area's highest expression now. Good. Breathe into it. Breathe into your center. Allow shifts to happen. Shift, 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 shift. Zillions of shifts. Beautiful. <laughs> and those shifts will continue to happen. And you can apply this to anything later. You can come back and watch this later and, and do it for a different life area, or you can get more detailed and specific and do this for your left knee or whatever. But, you know, I, I have uh, more specific ways that you can do that for your left knee or whatever. Um, so I hope that you will check those out. But let's see where you're at right now. Breathe into your center, come back to your center. And let's see what happened. Um, don't type it in yet. Um, tune into the first life area that, that you worked on. And tune into right now what has already shifted. How connected do you feel to no problem for that life area? Don't worry if it's changed or if it didn't change. Just find your number right now, not what it was before, for your first life area from zero to 10. Zero is no problem. And please type it in if you can um, or tune in if you're not here live. And don't hit, uh, don't hit post yet because I'm going to ask you for all your other life areas too. Ooh, Mary said, health, complete cure. Aligning with that now. <laughs> Okay, uh, but don't don't hit post yet. So your first life area, give me your new number from zero to ten. Zero is no problem. How much do you resonate with no problem for this first life area? Now tune into your second life area. You may not even remember what it is. That's okay. Uh, tune into your whole life if you don't remember what it is. And notice how close you are to zero. No problem. Type that in, don't hit post yet. 
and tune into your third life area if you've got one type it in and type in your number what's your number zero is no problem and go ahead go ahead and hit post when you're ready and I will be quiet for a few minutes uh, not for a few minutes for a few seconds and I'm going to do some silent alignments while people type in your top three life area priorities and your number for each of them how connected do you feel to their highest expression no problem is zero so type that in now Good, and if your number's not at zero yet, that is no problem. If your number's not at zero, that's a zero, <laughs> because we're gonna shift it some more. Okay, and I should have asked you to type in your before and after numbers, but who cares? We're not gonna worry about that. Um, if you wanna start doing that, go ahead. You can write in, you know, life area number one, before, number, after, number, but don't worry if you haven't. So, finish up typing in, and here's what we're gonna do next. Even if your number is not at zero, let's align with zero now. For life area number one, align with zero now. Life area number two, align with zero now. Life area number three, align with zero now. Whole life, everything that you can think of, everything that you can't even wrap your mind around, align your whole life with resonating with no problem now. Wholeness now. Regardless of what the evidence is on a physical level, or on a financial level, align yourself with the larger field of zero no problem and with infinite wholeness now. You are changing your resonance right at this very moment. So if you're sitting there going, oh, but my number didn't change enough, then you're resonating with that. Instead, resonate with zero, no problem, now. Just decide. It's a simple decision. Let the world and reality be whatever it is. That's not what we're dealing with right now. We're dealing with uh, a super hyper reality beyond just everyday reality. Align with zero now. And that will ripple out into everyday reality. But not necessarily if you keep focusing on, well, my problem is still here. My problem is only went down from a seven to a six. That's not enough. Align it with zero now. And let that ripple out now. Okay. So tell me how that feels. Type it in. Um, and let me just read some of these as you type in. What did you notice? Type it in. And the field of healing is still active. You're not done. It's never done. There's always more wholeness <laughs> to be aligned with because wholeness is infinite. So I'm just reading some of these and waving my hands in alignment. So Nishi says, love it. Yay. I love it too. AD says, uh, well, three relationships was seven, now five. Weight loss was seven, now three, or now, not, uh, now two. Um, health, seven to four. Uh, Jane says, health, seven to four. Money, nine to five. Life purpose, nine to six. Align it with zero now. Okay, so people are saying, um, shivers. <laughs> Yay, Mayrav, shivers. Uh, Shelby says, I felt lighter and made me smile. That beautiful inner Buddha smile 
Let's all align with that now. You can resonate with that right now. Uh, Diane says, feeling more centered, a feeling of vibrancy. Henry says, feel more calm and peace, expanding that now. Um, Natalie, a lifting calmness. Robin, feel more expansive. Rita, more happy. Cynthia, less pressure. So yeah, let's, ba let's uh, balance that pressure so that it is the perfect amount of pressure, like, you know, atmospheric pressure. You need a little bit of pressure. You need a little pressure of gravity to keep you on the planet. So we don't want absolutely no pressure in our life. We want a nice balance. Charity says sparkly, uh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, um, Bart says it feels real. It is real. It feels real and it is real. Katie says whole life, no problem. Let's, let's all have some of that. Whole life, no problem. Broadcast that out. Once you find that field of no problem, broadcast it out. Okay, comments are still coming in. I'm going to look at all of these in detail afterwards. Uh, Ginger says, woo-woo. <laughs> uh, Hufrish says, colors and feel light. Myra, calm and clear. Yes, we are all creating this resonance right now of wholeness. So when you tune into wholeness, you amplify it for yourself. You amplify it for the entire planet, and maybe beyond. Okay, <laughs> excellent. So, what does that zero mean again of aligning with zero, no problem? Uh, you, aligning with zero also means aligning with infinite wholeness. It kind of loops back on itself in a fun paradox. So when you align with zero, even if the evidence suggests that it's not zero, then you are creating the potential, you are connecting directly to the potential of no problem and allowing it to flow into you back and forth. Um, so if you find yourself thinking about all the stuff that's gonna stop you uh, from actually having no problem, bypass all of that. There it is. It's all, it's all there. We're going to go around it and tune directly into the field of no problem. Now. Align with that now. So you have changed your resonance. You have tuned it to no problem. And that will ripple back into the so-called problem and shift it. Actually, in reality, it's happening now. You don't have to believe it. Just tune yourself to it, whether you believe it or not, because belief may or may not come later. It's not a prerequisite. Whew. Okay. Good, good, good. So um, you can keep po posting um, your comments, and I love them. They're beautiful. and. You know, I'm going to do a, a, a closing alignment uh, at the end before I sign off. But right now, let me just do a short commercial interruption and let me tell you about how to get more of this. If you're already a guided healing call member, the April 3rd guided healing call is coming up and um, it is about health and life force raising the resonance on your health and life force. And I'm talking about my guided healing calls, also known as guided healing teleseminars. Um, we do a month, every first Saturday of every month, we do a different topic for a whole hour. And you can use the recordings of that as healing sessions, you know, going forward, and they'll continue to shift lots of other things. So it's a super affordable program of these live guided healing calls, uh, or you can listen to the replay if you're in Australia at some god awful time. <laughs> and there are new topics every month. And, and let me just tell you quickly what we're going to do for the rest of 2019. And by the way, if you're watching this, Later, there will always be new topics, and there's a way to get the replays, um, which do actively contain all the healing. Um, 
So anyway, here's what's coming up in my guided healing calls, April 3rd, Health and Life Force, Raise Your Resonance. So you got a little taste of that in this free healing just now. So you may be feeling more life energy now already, but in those hour-long guided healing calls um, on April 3rd, we're going to look at what your hidden health vibrations are or your hidden health resonances, what resonance you're putting out or creating or maintaining and broadcasting, whether you are broadcasting a resonance with disease, illness, pain, feeling bad uh, without knowing it and will shift it. Uh, so we're going to reset your resonance for wellness, health, the big picture of health, which most people don't even know that you're supposed to do, according to now healing. Um, so that's April 3rd. Then uh, May 4th, we're going to raise your resonance on your body parts and your whole body. So you're going to bring whatever problem body part you have, and we're going to reset its resonance. We're also going to do a complete body scan to raise the resonance of every part of your body from your pinky toe to your brain and etc your structures your functions your processes so that you don't have any hidden distortions in the morphic resonance of your physical body um, and you may have already experienced a quickie version of that in this free healing and your body may already feel better just from that but there's a lot more we can do um, and then on uh, June 1st I'm going to do the ABCs, your aura, biofield, chakras, channels, or meridians. We're going to raise the resonance on all of those uh, energy bodies. Then on July 6th, psychic energy and empathy. Um, we're going to scan your boundaries. Um, August 3rd is wealth and abundance. We're going to raise your resonance and amplify your attraction. September 7th, relationships, past, present, future, because your resonance with your past relationships affects your present and future relationships and vice versa. Um, October 5th, mindset, manifestation and creation. We're going to do a whole mental body scan. November 2nd is emotional hygiene. Super important. What do you broadcast out emotionally and your personality broadcast? We're going to raise your resonance for that. Um, and December 7th is awareness, discernment, intuition, spiritual knowing, uh, getting ready for the, you know, those solstice energies that are coming in. So that's the, the rest of the year. Um, I will post the link for that uh, guided healing call soon. Um, and if you have any questions, just uh, ask me about that. Um, the best thing to do if you're not already signed up is just sign up and try it for a month or two. Even though it's a subscription program, it's easy to cancel after even a month. So you just email my uh, assistant, email at info at nowhealing.com to cancel your uh, subscription, your membership. And um, so it's not, if you don't want it to be a month after month commitment, it doesn't have to be. But I recommend that you do ongoing healing month after month, day after day, because healing is an ongoing process of regeneration, self-repair, course correction. We, you know, if you stop healing, it's not a pretty picture. <laughs> so, um, okay, well, we have gone longer than the 30 minutes that I intended. Um, Oh, before I do the closing alignment, let me just tell you about one other thing that is coming up um, starting. Oh, did I say April 3rd for the first guided healing, the next guided healing teleseminar? Scratch that. It's April 6th. Uh, it's the first Saturday of the month is Health and Life Force. Raise your resonance. April 6th. Something else is happening on April 3rd. And that is a 28-day program called Transform Your Whole Life. And this is a very small group VIP program. It requires a lot of commitment. Um, if you're interested in a 28-day program of intensive, uh, personalized, small group and one-on-one -on -one healing with me, then check that out. Go to nowhealing.com and um, 
go to the shop page and look at Transform Your Whole Life uh, 28 Day Program. If you have questions, just email info at nowhealing.com and uh, we will tell you about that. Okay, coming back to center for our closing alignment. Breathe into your center. And tune into your whole life, the flow from the past to the present to the future, and observe its wholeness. Observe its beauty and truth and resonance, and observe that you can tune up its resonance. Just the simple act of observing it from your center changes its entire resonance. This is beyond what you complain about day to day. Oh, my ache and joints. Oh, my, you know, annoying mother-in-law, et cetera, et cetera. All, all of that is just becomes immaterial when you zoom out to the big picture of your whole life and you align its resonance with wholeness now. Say now, bring it into your center and notice the ripples and shifts and huge changes that actually happen when you do this. And I would advise you to do this daily. We, you know, don't take your whole life's flow for granted. Observe it, tune it up. You can do this. All right. I would love to hear from you how that felt. Uh, AD says, March call healed a scary depression. I was in heart, heart, heart. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Mutsumesk. Excellent. <laughs> All right, people are saying thank you. Um, and I am very, very grateful for your presence here. I apologize for any technical glitches. I noticed one person, Graciela, said it didn't air on Facebook at noon as advertised. And yes, that's because I had a huge technical glitch. I emailed, I posted trying to correct the glitch. I apologize. Um, the, the healing had to move to this post, not the scheduled post. What can I say? I align with wholeness. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, everybody. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I'm going to sign off now, but please do join me in my guided healing calls. I will post it uh, very soon, as soon as I sign off, so that you don't have to see me typing, because um, that's kind of boring. All right, and I'll be sending out the an email with a replay. Oh. One more thing, important, important. If you're not on the Now Healing newsletter mailing list, you want to get on that because I send you free healing alignments uh, pretty darn often. And they're different and they're, you know, tailored to your needs. So go to the website nowhealing.com. Make sure to sign up for the mailing list. Uh, it should be in the top right corner um, with a big orange place to type in your, your uh, email address and name. So make sure you can receive my healing newsletter. Love to all. This is Elma with Love and Wholeness signing off for now.